You're listening to From the Futon, the comfiest podcast on Long Island. With your hosts, Tanya Arkin and Sam Samant. Hi, everybody. I'm Tanya Arkin. I am the owner of Dreams East and a spiritual connoisseur. Hi. I'm Sam. I'm a psychic and entrepreneur. In this podcast, we will explore spiritual topics, not so spiritual topics, and everything in between. We do want more guests on our podcast, so if you are interested in being a guest, please send an email to dreamseastlongisland at gmail.com. That's dreams, plural, east, Long Island at gmail.com. You mentioned you're the new owner of Dreams East. Yes, I Tell am. us a little bit about that. How did you get there? Yes, well, how did I get my dream job, basically? which is what I'm living right now, is my dream job of life. Um, I've lived in Roslyn for 30 years, and I've been a customer of Dreams East for about 25 years. I started off with George, that was the old owner, George, in Roslyn. He had a store at the Clock Tower, and my ex-husband brought me there for the first time. His whole family used to shop there. Um, I used to buy silver jewelry, you know, when we were young, and I was just his girlfriend and not a fiancé or a wife. And then there was a fire, an awful fire. The whole store burned down. I'm not going to get into anything else, and it's heartbreaking for me because if I ever came to the store one day and had everything burned down to the ground, my Buddhas and my angels and my crystals, I don't know how I'd go on. But needless to say, he went on. He came back to Seacliff. He started in Seacliff, actually. George went, started in Seacliff in a small store. Um, it was futons originally, not even crystals. And then he moved to Rosin. Then he came back to Seacliff. My daughter's been shopping here since she's three years old. She's 18 in May, and I've known him for years, but sometimes I've disappeared for a few years. So I disappeared for a period of about seven years. And my daughter, because of TikTok and the whole crystal craze, so 2020 fall, she said, Mommy, will you take me to Dreams East? She never car yet, so I was still Uber driver mom. So she said, Mom, can you take me to Dreams East? I said, sure. So I ran into George. Hey, George, how are you? Oh, my God. Such a long time. Have you been? Blah, blah, blah. January. I come back into the store. I bought a huge crystal, this, like, massive 50-pound amethyst geode. Wow. (laughs) That's huge. At Christmas time, yeah. I was like, oh, I'm back. I'm back. So I had to buy just the best piece in the store, so I bought it. And he goes, "Um, I'm thinking of retiring. And my heart dropped. I I was like, are you kidding me right now? My favorite store of life. I've been gone for it seven years and you're retiring you no, that's not happening so i went home and that night i said to my daughter ariana george just told me he's thinking of retiring i said i'm gonna buy the store i'm gonna buy the store and that started my journey of i'll kid you not manifesting dreams east into my reality because from that day forth i did everything to make this store mine everything i possibly could and i'm talking vision boards crystal grids 369 technique pray um and in september finally after all the lawyers and everything back and forth paperwork after almost losing the store three times wow three times there were other buyers there was an issue with some back problems that was holding us up and it was some stuff i don't even want to get into it because it was some heavy duty stuff but yeah i almost lost the store three times but it was meant to be yeah ultimately and i took over october 1st of 2021 and so we're now the end of january 2022 so this is my fourth month and i could cry because I'm living my dream life, having the store be my store, and this is where I get to come to work every day. And I live in Roslyn, so my commute is like the best commute of life. It's a 10 minute drive, passing the water, two different beaches, it's just amazing. Um, So that's how Dreams East came to be into my life, and I think it's always been my destiny. I just didn't know it until it happened. When we met. Yeah, that's off the charts. So I met Sam. May I? You okay. may. You may. So, like... <laughs> okay. Hi, Go everyone. right ahead. Um, so, uh, when we met, I was working at a store called Tina DeMel. And in the town of Roslyn. In the town of Roslyn. Two minutes from where I live. 
quite literally two minutes from where she lives. I thought I was living my best life. I honestly <laughs> did. I honestly did. Because we she, all like to yeah, think that. We all like to think that when we're at a job <laughs> that we somewhat enjoy. Working there as a salesperson and social media manager, there was some conflict that came up that would have taken power away from my personal business. I don't like dealings like that. It's not me. It's not my vibe. It's not, it's not healthy. It's also not healthy. Yeah. yeah. Tom Leo was like, hey, why don't you come do some contract work for me? One thing led to another. Now I'm here. Now she's here every day. She yep. manages the store for me. I manage the store. It's fun. I love it. And she does much more than just in in-store sales. She does Instagram work and TikTok work and she's doing this podcast and she does photography for me and she's an entrepreneur herself and she's using Dream Seas as a platform to expand her businesses. Yep. And I'm grateful to have her on board for as long as she'll be here. She's honing her skills in all areas of really making am. Dreams East uh, the reality that it is and we want to take it further than it was. It's Dreams East 2.0. I bought a perfect store. Let me, don't get me wrong, a perfect perfect store. But it can be more perfect. And that's our aim. That's our goal, to keep our old customers, to retain some new ones, but more importantly, to give everybody a Dream Z 2.0 experience because yeah. uh, this place is truly magical. It is. It really is magical. I mean, not only not only are the crystals magical themselves, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. No, the space is magical. The energy here is magical. Yeah. And I had nothing to do with that. It was here. I bought it like this. I acquired it like this. I'll tell you what George, the old owner, refers to this place as. Nirvana. He refers to it as Nirvana, his own Nirvana, and the customer's Nirvana. And I'll tell you how he used that word, actually. I'm a new business owner. I never owned a business in my life, and I'm a work in progress. Sometimes I may not act in my best interest or the best interest of others. Every so often it happens. So we were talking, and he was giving me some advice as a new business owner, and he said, as a customer, I used to every so often bring some negative energy in the store. And as I was going through the transition of becoming the owner, sometimes my personal life would get me caught up and the negative energy would come into the store. It follows you around, you know? So he said, Tanya, you know, if there's one piece of advice I give you is don't bring that negative energy into the store. Just leave it outside. Because this place is nirvana. And it's nirvana to me and it's nirvana, more importantly, to the customer. And I knew what he meant because I've been a customer for 25 years. And this place is nirvana. Because if I tell you the amount of times I sat on these futons, chilling, laughing, crying, angry, sad, every emotion in between, I felt them in the walls of these stores and now I'm the owner. It's surreal to me. I used to sit here with a little cat that he took in and showed up at the door one day and he took him in and he had him here for years. He was the house cat and the cat used to chill with everybody and I used to chill with the cat and unfortunately the cat got run over by a car right outside. I'm getting a house cat. I'm going to be getting a cat for the store, so anybody who has any rescues, uh, you know, let me know, because I'm definitely looking for one. Definitely. We would love to have a house cat. I mean, yes, cats clean the space as well, the negativity. Yes. And I'd like a black one, maybe, because nobody likes black cats. Yeah, no, black, actually, believe it or not, black cats are the cats that bring good luck and clean the house. So if anybody's got a cute little black cat that's looking for a home, let us know. But anyway, as I was saying, I used to spend all this time in the store, soaking up the good vibes, the good energy. George was amazing. I miss him every day. I talk to him almost every day. (laughs) Well, not as much as I used to in the beginning. The first day, no joke, called him 30 times, 30 times. Wow. The the cash register broke, this happened, that happened. Like, everything that could have gone wrong, everything that didn't have a price on it, everybody wanted it that day. But he's amazing. He's living in upstate New York now, in Hurley, New York, nearest one of his daughters. His wife retired last year, and he's living the dream. He's 66 years old. He did this for 40 years. He opened the store when he was 26, and he was ready to, you know, bid adieu. He was ready to go. And I just feel very fortunate and honored that he thought I was worthy enough to carry on this legacy. So I hope I do you all... I hope I do Dreams East proud, and I hope I make all of you proud of what this store represents, because it, it means a lot to me. It, Everything to me. Honestly, it means a lot of things to a lot of different people. I know, because I've the been rare, there. I know, because I was a customer. Exactly. In the rare times that you're not here, and I am, I see so much love for the store. It's it's become a centerpiece of the community, and I want to share that with new people. I want to share that with old friends again and remind them that no matter what, we're well, the essence here. is still here also. Yeah. 
even though I'm a new owner, just so you know, I've kept the store on one hand almost identical as when George left it. Like, so much of his stuff is here, so much of his energy is here, and I don't want to let go because I could cry. George is the store. This store is George. He and Zed, Zed was the partner. They started the store together. George has been the owner solely, though, for many, many, many years now. But he did start it with a partner. But George's energy is here, and his dream is alive, and we're carrying in his legacy. And I hope Dreams East never dies. And after me, I hope someone else carries it on. And it'll be Dreams East 3.0 then. But for now, it's just Dreams East 2.0. And honoring George and what he created here, because he created something really, really special. I kid you not. This whole space is special. It's it's honestly even an honor to come to work here. Oh, it is. Thank it's an, you. <laughs> it's an honor to come to work here. Oh, I'm gonna like, cry, you guys. I, I have an awesome boss. Like if you if you've seen our TikToks of us getting our little dancey dance on. <laughs> And there she goes. She snorting. Yeah. She snorting. That, that means she thinks this shit's real funny. Yeah. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> We're both nervous wrecks. Yeah. I didn't even shower today. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's okay, I, I didn't just, shower this morning either. I had a, I had a late night. I had a late night. A lot of shit to do. Prep for the storm. Yeah. We got a storm coming, people. But anyway, yep. that's another story. We got a storm coming. We got a storm coming. We're doing a podcast. But you know what? It's a vibe. We're working with it. It's a it. vibe. It's a vibe. Yeah, it is a vibe. Oh, my God. There's so, so many people, so many amazing energies. So just the store is an energy in and of itself. But not only that, like, even with the goddess statue, they bring their own energy. Oh my god, yeah. Oh and my... we could tell you some trippy things, oh, no joke, oh <laughs> about what happens oh my god. in this yes, store. Yes, yes, After Uriel. hours, Uriel. or even during hours. Oh, Uriel. Let, yeah, we have an yeah. angel. We have an angel whose wings dropped every time he wants to affirm something that we've talked about. Yep. Like if there's a question to something and the answer is yes, his wings fall off yep. to answer yes. Time. We have some ghosts living here. Yeah, we do. I saw one once right when I got the store. It really freaked the crap out of me. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I was in the bathroom. No joke. I'll tell you what happened. I was in the bathroom by myself. It's a store late night. Of course it was late night. The lights were off and I'm sitting on the toilet. Sorry, everybody. And I'm looking out the door. It was open because there's no one in the store except me. And I look to the right and I see... <laughs> I see somebody walk across the hallway. Whoa. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, are you <laughs> kidding me right now? Are you seriously kidding? So I panicked for a moment. And then I said, okay, okay, okay. I said, first of all, I said, George didn't tell me about this shit. <laughs> Why didn't he mention this to me? <laughs> I could have or should have anticipated this. But anyway, I said to myself, listen, it's Dreams East. George would have told you if there was anything bad here. So whatever he didn't tell you, he just didn't tell you because it wasn't an issue. It's all good. Whoever's there is fine. They've been there forever. And you're the new person, so you just relax. Yeah, we just inherited the spirits. We, we, you, we, hear yeah. it, you heard it here. We, we inherited the spirits. So there's there's a guy who lives here, who an older man in his 70s. I forget his name. That psychic told me his name. He used to live in this building. And there's a woman who lives in the store who used to own a business a few stores yeah. down and used to come here to congregate and chill out just like I did as a customer and her energy is there's another one ghost named, is here there's another one named Laura like Laura? Okay. I that was the one I met and, and then we have yeah. singing Ganesh statues they chant oh oh that that statue actually that one actually got a home that that Ganesh statue we liked. have um crystals that appear in my hand just we had a rose quartz crystal we were standing there one second my hand is like this next second there's a rose quartz crystal in my hand. I kid you not. I yeah. kid you not. I, we we you kid can't. you not. Oh my god. I can. Stuff disappears and reappears. Oh, oh, what happened with oh. the wine? Oh, Remember the, the wine? wine. The wine. So we had a little mini party. We at had the a store. mini. We had a mini party the night before at the store, right? It was a mini party business meeting. Two um, bottles of wine. Two bottles of wine. I remember them clearly on the table. I the, closed up the store. Yeah. You left earlier. I don't know how you left, but um, I think via Uber. Okay. I close up the store, and I put the wine bottles on the candle table. I put them on the table. I would never leave them on the floor, ever. I just wouldn't do that. To trip on them or to kick them, I wouldn't do that. I was lazy. I didn't want to walk all the way to the kitchen. Sorry. 
I left him. I knew he would get taken care of in the morning. So, what happened? I came later today, same time as Tanya did, and there was a... Oh, oh no, Emily, Emily. was it. Oh, so yeah. we had an, um, somebody who worked here, Emily, who she said, you know, next time you have people over at the store, because we often have people, we hang out here, it's, you know, yeah. we hang out after hours, business, not business, she said, next time can you please clean up, you know, after yourselves. <laughs> so, okay. So I said, I always do. She said, well, there was wine bottles on the floor. I said, no, no, I put them on the table. And I wasn't drinking that much wine. More people were drinking other wine. So it wasn't like I was drunk and I forgot. To, I, put the, I would never put the wine on the floor. It was, they were never on the floor. We have tables here. Somebody did something and those wine bottles ended up on the floor. Uh, don't know why yep. or how or if they drank any or what because there was definitely some wine left in there but how much we left when we left the store I don't know all kinds of I think of we things. need to start mark marking bottles to, <laughs> to see how much the spirits take out maybe. of them how much do the spirits take out of the spirit bottles <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> I was alone, no noise upstairs. The only track on the music was instrumental track. And all I could hear was like, Om Shasana. And I'm like, what? I posted it to TikTok. So if you check out our TikTok, you can see the video there and decipher for yourselves what you hear. But there's a very clear whisper there. That's not on the track. That's not anywhere in the store. Needless to say, I was freaked out. The good thing about hearing those things with the Om Shasana, that, that's a beginning of a prayer and mantra. a mantra. Yes, using a <laughs> yoga meditation that invites protection. So we have kind of decided that we were being offered protection, so it was a good thing. There's so much good here. There's so much good. There's uh -huh. so much Thank you. I feel the same, but I thank you for saying you that. Know. I appreciate you. Oh, do you remember the time uh, Uriel's wings drop? And Okay, so she was talking to our crystal dealer, right? Her, his name is Darius. Mm -hmm. We love him. He's an amazing dealer. He sells ethical crystals, and it's... High quality. Chef's kiss. Beautiful High quality stuff. chef's kiss. Yeah. Like, he used to sell it to the store before I took ownership, but I get a lot more of his crystals than the previous owner did because uh, I want to change the quality of crystals in the store. I, I have many of George's crystals in my collection from the last 20 years, but some of the higher quality stones, more the rarer pieces, I didn't used to get from George. And... I want to carry those pieces as a new owner, so I've invested into spending more money for more quality stones, AAA grade quality stones, and you see it in the stone, you'll see in the price too. The price is a little higher, just so you know. Um, but I'm bringing in stuff that the store never had before, because I want to be known as the crystal destination. Uh, we have a lot of things in the story of angels and Buddhas and chimes and yoga stuff and books and candles and incense and everything. Yep. It's a metaphysical boutique. We've got everything. It is. Um, but I want to be known as a crystal destination. I want people to come here to get the special pieces. Or if it's just a tumble stone, the best tumble stone there is out there. The best high quality tumble stone. So if you're paying $5 for a tumble piece of rose quartz, it's worth it. It's worth it because it's better than a $3 piece of rose quartz. That is not as good quality. You yep. can tell it in the color. You can tell it in everything. And you can everything. also tell it in the energy, The energy. Too. Well, that's the thing. I, I've always picked my stones energetically. All my crystals in my collection have always been picked energetically. I buy things online. Don't get me wrong. I bought from Etsy. Etsy, I think, is a great site, just so you know. I'm promoting Etsy. I love it. Hey. No, but Etsy, I think I've got a lot of things from Etsy, and they have great energy on that. But sometimes I've gotten things that are not so great energy. Yeah. And I, I like to hold things, touch them, feel them, compare. And I like walking home with a little shopping bag at the end of the day. Before I owned the store, I was a shopper here and elsewhere. But you can feel the difference in the energy of the stone when you pick it up. You feel the... If you were attuned to it, I'm not saying everybody's going to feel it, because if you're not feeling crystals, you're not attuned to it, you have to be receptive. If you are receptive, you will feel something. I guarantee you'll feel something, but you got to be open to it. Um, if somebody's not into crystals who doesn't believe in them, they're not going to do anything for them. They're not going to feel the energy because they're not open to it. Exactly. Though, to backtrack a bit, I, I remember when you were saying, oh, what are you, a perfect man? Uriel's wings dropped. <laughs> Oh. We all had a good laugh. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. It was actually sarcastic. Yeah. It was being sarcastic. Um, yes, I said, what are you, a perfect man? I think I was getting into it, maybe with him no. or something. Something. <laughs> 
button and Uriel's wings dropped the second I said what are you a perfect man and he said yes <laughs> but he was being facetious about it yes. it was very funny it was very funny yes. we had a good laugh about it after and yes. you know what for everything we care so much we disagree <laughs> yes and we agree to disagree because yep. the truth is guys everybody does not get along like seriously if you think that your friends your family your loved ones or all of them boyfriend girlfriend husband wife are gonna think exactly like you you're deadly mistaken and you're gonna have a very hard life because people don't think the way you do you gotta agree to disagree right and just because you love somebody or they love you doesn't mean you're always gonna see eye to eye so just be open to other people's opinions you know for Christ's sake if we were more open to other people's opinions we wouldn't have so much war in this goddamn world truthfully Fair. if we could just recognize each other's opinions and leave them for what it is and own your own ideas and let other people own theirs and don't try to convert them to yours or vice versa and that way the world works more peacefully yeah all you need is love yep. they say all you need is love like the beatles song all you need is love yep all it's true. you need is love do, 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 do. all you need is love do, 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 do. all you need is love 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 all you need is love <laughs> Impromptu singing. Yes. Yes, we like to sing. <laughs> yes, Her and I do. like to sing and we dance. Like, we like to sing. We like to dance. We like to have fun. <laughs> yes. I mean, that's what Spicy Sunday is all about. Like having oh, fun. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> that's what our community. That's what our community tab is Don't all talk about. about spicy <laughs> okay. <Sunday. laughs> That's what our community tab is about. Like, we like having fun. We like seeing people here. We love Spicy our Sunday was all her idea. Yeah, that was my idea. It was not meant to go to the page. <laughs> now, now everybody's going to look and see. But you it know what? But you know what? Though the malas are a vibe, though. The malas are such it's a vibe. the malas, dude. It's <laughs> alright. It's, it's okay. It's cool. That's but right. Yeah, it's cool. We we love ha- as much as we love educating people. We love having fun. Yeah. It's... Life is too short, dude. Yeah. Life is too short. Carpe diem. You people know what that means. Carpe diem. Seize the day. <laughs> Seize the goddamn day. Honestly, life is too short. You know what I did this morning, Sam? I'll tell you what I did this morning. <laughs> I didn't come to the store till later this afternoon, and I actually watched the funeral service on at St. Patrick's Cathedral for one of the officers. Uh, what's his name? Jason Rivera. I'm going to start crying right now, bawling if I let myself, but I'm not going to. One of those two officers who got killed in Harlem. And this crazy SOB actually stepped over this young man's lifeless body to get to his partner to shoot him. And the partner died the other day. He held on for a few days. Why am I bringing this up? Why am I bringing this up? Seize the day. Seize the day. day. And so I was watching them talk about this brilliant young man. If I tell you, sometimes the good die young and the best ones are taken from us way too soon. This kid was an angel. Like, no joke. And everybody who spoke about him was so eloquent. I am in love with the New York Police Department police commissioner. She is, I believe, an African-American lady. She is amazing. The brother of the slain officer, the wife of the slain officer, high school sweethearts, since they were in fourth grade, they just got married last October. I'm heartbroken. Seize the day. Live in joy. Live in peace. Live in love. Live in joy. Because you know what? Life can get ripped away from you at a moment's notice and listen all of you watching you're not cops right so you don't have as much chance of getting gunned down as this poor officer jason rivera did but all of us in our own personal and private lives can be taken at any moment unfortunately by things way beyond our control whether it's a car accident or a fire or cancer or whatever the fuck it is a heart attack that took my dad and uh, or Alzheimer's that's gonna take yeah. my mom any day now seize the day yeah. seize the day live in joy live in love live in peace live in light live in live happiness in light, live in happiness live do in unto balance. others as you would have done unto you no joke and just live like YOLO you only live once uh FOMO, fear of missing out. You know what? I got FOMO. I don't want to miss out. I'll sleep when I'm dead. (laughs) I got too much to do, too many people to love, too much to see. I think all of you probably feel the same way. And while we're here on our journey, we've got this little store that has all the spiritual tools that you need, all the stuff that'll make your days a little brighter and make you smile. And, you know, when you need to take a break from the rat race, you know, you'll get your candle that you get from here or some incense or sage or some beautiful thing that you got from here and take a step back and zone out and 
appreciate and be grateful for being alive, making it one more day in this mother f***ed up world that we live in. I understand where you're going with that. It's too short of a life to hold grudges. It's too short of a life to be hateful. Too short. And you know what? Hateful, someone does something to you. Here's Here's the thing. So somebody does something to you, right? Bad. No problem. And you get angry. You hate them. Or you hate. You feel anger. Guess who it hurts more? Them or you? You. It eats you up inside. So let go. You release yourself. You release them. Give them some peace. Give yourself some peace. Let go. Life is too short. Move on. Give somebody a second chance. You know what? I'm the queen of second chances. I've had people give me second chances many, many, many times in my life. More than second chances. Third, fourth, and fifth. I'm kind of like one strike, okay. Two strikes, okay. Three strikes, you're out. I'm kind of a three strikes, you're out kind of a girl. But I'm a firm believer of second chances. And you know what? Give someone the benefit of the doubt. Don't assume everything. Someone is rude to you one day. Do you have any idea why they're rude? They got a bad day. They lost their job. They lost their mom. They're pissed off. Somebody was nasty to them. They can't find their cell phone. Whatever the fuck it is. They're not taking it out on you personally, on purpose. They just took it out on you. Or anything for that matter. But seize the day. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Live in joy. I live in joy, no joke. Every day of my life. I often take her home. She lives five minutes away from me. And I appreciate that every single day. That's not why I'm saying it, but no problem. Um, You know what I do on our way home? Every night, we drive by the beach. It is a ritual. And we just appreciate the beauty of the ocean. The what's not the ocean, it's Long Island Sound, but it leads into the ocean. It looks like the ocean. It's close enough to the it's ocean. Close enough. And we vibe, and then I turn down the music and the heat, and I listen to the water, and we listen to the waves break against the shore. And it's a beautiful part of my day, and one part that I wouldn't miss. But I go every day, and if today is my last day on Earth, I'm going to the ocean tonight. And my last day on Earth would have consisted of all the things that were important to me. I contacted my daughter today. I told her I loved her. She told me she loved me. Check. Didn't talk to my mom. Should probably give her a call. Definitely enjoyed the water today. And for me, the water is therapeutic. It is healing. Ah, it's a necessity in my life. No joke. Being near the water, I am very blessed and grateful that I get to use the water and take in its energy and its power and its strength every single day. A few times a day. I see the water from my store. Come to Dreams East. You know what? We're in a little beach town. Yeah. It is magnificent here. It's magical, but it's, it's we're in a beach town for God's sake. You see the water from my store. Yeah, it's you a see hallmark the most beautiful town. Beautiful sunsets. Yeah, it is a hallmark town. It is a hallmark town. I love walking the streets of the town when there's no one around, or driving the streets of the town. I sometimes drive around at night, late at night when I'm on my way home, and I'll just go down the street and I just look at my friends' stores because I have multiple friends who have boutiques down the street. We're all it's a nice community here. We're yep. all friends and we support each other. And it's about shopping local. Shop, Shop local. local businesses. Shop local, support um, your local businesses. We all, yeah. Even even in our business, I try to order from local businesses. I try to ethically source sage. Yeah, we, we source our sage ethically because I'm all about ethics you know and but having we do shop local we yeah. don't import anything anymore everything comes from the us of a most things do except for some crystals because that's where they're from yeah, but, but at we least do, it's well, we don't yeah oh yes 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 but i mean we don't buy we don't buy from overseas we buy from someone who buys from overseas yeah that's what i meant by saying we don't but anyway it doesn't matter it does come from overseas because all crystals come from overseas brazil peru all kind madagascar everywhere brazil yeah. has some of the most beautiful crystals but uh, yeah, we went maybe on a segue, but we were, the last point we were making is just seize the day, live in joy, live in happiness, live in peace, live in love, live in light. It's the only way to be and you make the world a brighter place. Yep. And anyway. And for any of you who don't know that phrase, it is a very classic phrase. And if you don't know it, know it now, use it, carpe diem, seize the day. Uh, I think this is a good place to leave off. I think so. Yeah. Well, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I enjoyed this conversation. I enjoyed this conversation. Yep. <laughs> we're going to have we're going to have so much many more conversations like yeah. this. We're going to have podcasts, we're going to have guests. It's going to be We have all kinds of fun, fun things to talk about. Yep. And we'd like to hear from you. Yes, we And do. we love guests, so I'm going to get some of my friends who own some of the businesses around here to come. I think I want my first guest to be Andrew. Yeah, have it. Have Emporium. him. He'll Moonshine Emporium, shout out. Yeah, uh, Moonshine uh, uh, Emporium, uh, uh, shout out. Uh, um, Andrew, I want him to be my first guest. He owns uh, Moonshine Emporium. He's amazing. His shop is amazing. He sells um, old vintage LPs, and he sells a whole bunch of, like, uh, just vintage everything. Vintage everything. Um... 
and he's cool as shit. <laughs> yeah, I love he's him. Cool. He's like my brother from another mother. Um, oh. But I'd like to have him as a first guest. We'll reach out to him and have him as a first guest. We'll let yeah. you know when we're doing podcasting next. Yeah. But for now, guys, peace out. Peace love, out. peace, and happiness to all. You were listening to From the Futon, the comfiest podcast on Long Island. Tune in next time when we have our first guest. Follow us on Instagram at dreamseast underscore li for updates on the next podcast. <laughs>